Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can smoothen the game of Fortnite and increase your frames per second in the game. Well, these settings are proven by me and I hope this works for you guys. Before we start this video, we are doing a big giveaway ladies and gentlemen. There is this new gifting feature which will be going live real soon and it has been there in the game of Fortnite. So I'll be giving away your favorite skins and the rules are very simple. All you need to do is just comment down below what you love about Fortnite, your gamer tag and which console you play on and also tell me what your favorite skin is. How am I going to choose all the winners? I'm going to go to a randomizer comment website where it will just pick up a random comment and I will be selecting those winners from there. And this competition is going to be very fair for every single one of you. So make sure you guys have commented everything that I've said, your gamer tag, why you love Fortnite and also which console you play on and also include what is your favorite skin in Fortnite. Before we begin this video, just make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notification for more videos like this in the future. And also to help us reach our like goal which is 200 likes well to start off with like i am getting like pretty decent amount of frames in, right now and these are my settings so yeah i mean if i lock it down to like 120 like it stays there sometimes it goes down probably because of the overheating doesn't matter if you guys are on your laptop or anything so these are my exact settings like i've turned everything to near and uh, super low and the view distance to be very far and epic so even when i'm rotating anything like i, I get like a variable fps so i've got I've, I've got like a pretty decent computer and uh, this is like exactly what i get so if i'm going down as you can clearly see that this is my settings like if everything is on off and low uh, the only thing which is on is like motion blur i'm I probably reckon you turn that off as well uh it just helps you out with your frames i don't know for me like i turned that on for like you know smooth movements but at the end it will definitely help you out if you turn everything off and also when it comes down to the 3d render setting i uh, see as if I, like i'm going down like consider this as a real game I'm, I'm in a game right now i'm in a game of 50 50 so i'm just gonna stand over here so that i can showcase like what are my settings so my frame rate limit is on unlimited and now i've turned everything on so i might get like you know a 60 lock when i'm like you know playing with all high settings and you guys know like how i did it for myself well a few tips that i'm going to give you in this video well the first one being update your graphics card driver for me it was rolling back was super important like okay there are two big things like you know updating your graphic card drivers or else rolling it back for me like i have to roll my graphics card back because after updating my graphics card driver i am getting like super low fps when it comes down to windows 10. so now if i roll it back i might get like better fps so now a big thing that i want to question is that people get like more fps in windows 7 rather than windows 10. well these settings are also valid for people you know using a playstation or an xbox they can probably copy the settings if it's possible for them you know, to have those settings in the game and to turn those you know graphic settings you know up and down you know for their benefit but when it comes down to a pc like people have like many options you know to configure and to make things work so now i, I had reduced the settings now I'm, i have increased it and that's the big difference that you can see you know i'm everything is more prominent everything is more smooth the texture rendering is like even better than before well the first tip was to update your graphics card driver i mean many of you guys that are using the same old graphic card driver that the ones that you got from the cd when you got your own graphics card or the one which is the chipset which is already there in your laptop or in your computer well the second tip that i'm going to give you is like try to avoid overheating in your laptop or as well as on your computer so when it comes down to overheating like it will cause a lot of latency in your game so if the if your computer overheats if your computer or laptop you know overheats your processor your graphics card like it's gonna create a lot of latency for you guys in the game so one thing you know like a small tip that i can give you that to get like a super cheap cool and it's probably worth a dollar or a few cents you can probably go to the nearby walmart and you can get it for yourself it's called a, a cpu coolant so it's, it's more like a thermal paste you can get it online as well and they are like super cheap you can get it for yourself and for people using a laptop 
I would recommend to create some space in between, you know, the, the floor and, and the laptop so, so that there is like proper ventilation between, you know, both the surfaces. So it will help you out a lot with your legs. So the most important thing is updating your graphics card driver. The second thing is to create a bit of space in between the surface of your laptop and as well as the surface that you're playing on and using a thermal paste on your processor so that, you know, you can turn on the overheating so that it, it will definitely help you out for sure now you need to keep a few things in your head guys like the computer that you guys are using so you comment use the comment section down below and tell me what is your exact specifications and i'll do my very best to answer all your questions in the comment section down below so that you know i want to create a community where we can help out each other i know like if you if, i love fortnite and i'm pretty sure you guys love it too so i just want to help you guys out you know with your game and if you guys are facing any latency so yeah this is just me helping you guys out and i hope this video will definitely help you guys out so if you have any queries if you have any doubts use the comment section down below do let me know guys with that being said i'll be catching you soon on my next video so till then bye guys If you guys are still here, I would want you to subscribe to our channel and I'll also like this video for more videos like this in the future. And make sure you guys have entered the giveaway in it because in this giveaway, it's going to be a massive one, guys. Because So it's a giveaway where we're giving out skins in the new gifting system, ladies and gentlemen. And, and we're going to pick up all the winners when the gifting system goes live. So make sure you guys comment down your exact gamer tag, why you love Fortnite and your lovely favorite skin. Use the comment section down below and do let me know what you guys think about it. How am I going to choose all the winners? I'm going to go to a randomizer comment website where it will just pick up a random comment and I will be selecting those winners from there and this competition is going to be very fair for every single one of you.